Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Serrano. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the new B15 from New. And this is their newest, latest smartphone. And it is actually really cool. They also have a littler version, a smaller version that's less powerful. But this one is, is has been surprising me since the time I've been using it. Um, starting with the overall build of this guy. But do me a huge favor. If you're brand new to the channel, I, I truly appreciate you for coming through. Um, but if you're, if you're brand new, make sure you subscribe, get notified for more videos just like this so you can get um, updated for the latest budget phones and everything of that nature and if you're a huge fan of budget technology. But if you're already a part of the crew, so... So today I wanted to talk about seven things that I didn't expect about the new G, I'm sorry, B15, their latest model before this, the, the predecessor of this guy was the B, I think, uh, the G5 or something like that. So this, I'll keep saying G. If I say G, just keep in mind that they had a G5 and now this is the B15, so that's where, why I keep saying that. But this device is pretty solid, starting with the overall build quality. Um, I'll talk into, in, about the cameras in just a minute, but you can see we do have quad camera system right there, which looks really nice. The overall build quality is really good. You can see we do have a SIM card slot right there as well. It's an SD card expansion on here as well. So you could use two SIMs, two nano slots, cards at the same exact time. And then there's a third slot for the SD, for the, um, SD card or whatever. But the build quality on here is pretty cool. Like the sides of here mimic metal. It's not real metal or anything like that. So I just wanted to throw that out there that it's not real metal, but it does have like this this back of one here, which kind of looks like glass. I, it might be it might be like glass. I'm not sure you know what exactly it is. It might be a composite of glass and things of that such. But you can see it has like square sides on here, so they don't fingerprint easy. It's like it mimics metal. It's not cold to the touch or anything like that because it's not real metal, but it does have like the, this lightning design on the back of here. You can kind of see that those lightning sh bolts go across it, which is look, looks really cool. Headphone jack on the bottom, microphone type C and speaker as well. This thing doesn't have dual speakers, so that kind of sucks, but we do get a, you know, a, a power button right here, which doubles as a fingerprint sensor as well as your volume rocker. And then up top, we do get another microphone on here. Now, as far as the earpiece on the front, it does get plenty loud when you're doing phone calls. It did come with a screen protector in here as well, which does kind of scratch easy. You can see there's probably several scratches on there, but that's just the screen protector. That's not the actual display. So I just kind of want to let you guys know that that's actually the, the, the screen protector that's getting scratched, not my actual phone. So I just wanted to keep it a buck 50 with you. But as you can see, um, now you can see that as far as the display, we do have like this 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 really nice display on here this is the crazy thing about this phone is that the viewing angles look really good on this device um it's going to be a full 1080 full 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 hd um the display so it's going to be really nice but 1080 by 2460 but you know the viewing angles on here are actually better than i thought they would be um 84 percentage for the screen to body ratio the chin on here isn't too big right I might as well take off the screen protector right now, um, but it's, it seems to be doing a good job of preventing scratches on the display. So until it looks really nasty, I'm going to keep it on here. But the, this, you know, the fingerprint sensor works perfectly fine. It also does have facial recognition on board, but we do have 396 pixels per inch on this display. And one of the things I saw about this display is that it's extremely beautiful. It's an it's a large display as well. And the viewing angles you're gonna see in just a second how crystal clear it is. So you can see right here, just extremely beautiful display. It's also a very large display to hold in one hand. IPS TFT display with a 90 hertz refresh rate when you're scrolling through it. And um, it's just really good to look at. So I definitely wanted to make note of this thing that you know, you will have like a really solid display on this guy. I can't stress that enough, but and you can see right here, the quality is just really nice on here. We can get up to, you know, 4K quality on this guy. So like I said, so it's going to be pretty solid when you're viewing angles, the colors and everything like that do actually 
um, look extremely good when you're looking at it. So that's just another thing that I wanted to note is that you will have really good viewing angles and stuff like that when you're looking at this guy. So definitely something to consider when checking out this device as well. It's something I didn't really expect that it would be that good. Now, as far as the battery life on this thing, it was also pretty impressive. I did take some screenshots of the battery life, but most of the time you will get like like a full day, maybe two days on here. So let me just show you. I went into, um, I took a screenshot of my battery performance, but you know, um, this, this thing just flies through. You can see right here when it comes to the display. So let me just go back down. And um, before I show you the battery percentage, let me just show you my display settings right here. Um, right here, boom. And then you just go all the way down. You can see screen refresh rate. And it's just really good for scrolling at 90 hertz, but you can automatically select the best for, uh, one for an app. Or you can, um, you can say force it to do one of the two, which is pretty cool. So I do like the fact that they did, they give you that option so you could save battery life as well. And when you go into the, um, the photos, I did take a screenshot in my Google Photos. So I just wanted to share that right with you guys so you can see the um, really good quality on here when it comes to photos. But here's the battery life. I did take this yesterday. It was at, I did charge it at 98%, so it looks like it wasn't at 100. So that's why it's like zigzagging before that, but it, it charged it at 98 and then it went back down and then I had 15% at this point. So I did get six hours of screen on time with 15% uh, percent left, which I would have got about seven probably altogether of uh, screen on time. And I did use the phone for quite some time here, you know, um, you know, so it was pretty cool that I, you know, I was getting some really good battery life out of this thing. The 5,000 milliamp hour battery, you can see it does smudge a little bit. That's why I have this right here. So um, it doesn't look too crazy and nobody goes um, nuts when they see that on the, the back of the phone. So, you know, it will have fingerprints, but just carry a microfiber cloth and um, you won't have to worry about them too much. There's also like a card inside of the package where it says it's gonna send out a case. So you can buy, you can get that case for free with the purchase of this device, which I thought was pretty cool. But overall, the, the, the display, the design, the battery life are really good. Those three things I didn't expect. But the next thing that I didn't expect was like the overall features that this thing is gonna be offering you. So you're gonna get a, a, a large variety of features on here. It's gonna have an, a section on this guy where it's gonna be giving you the intelligent assistance section. And right here, you're gonna be able to get lift to wake, flash blinking when you get an incoming call, you get double tip, tap to wake, you get double tap to also lock the phone and you can also toggle the flashlight when the screen is locked as well when you, with a long press on the volume up key you can change it to quick gestures and with quick gestures you can get short you can get your email your messages your open torch and your maps and stuff like that you also do get three fingers screenshot as well as the false touch mode which will help you when you don't want to get false touches and when you want to answer your phone automatically just put it up to your ear and it will answer the phone call automatically. So just a nice package of features with this smartphone. I just think it looks really cool. Um, let me just swipe these fingerprints off of the device, but it just looks really cool as far as the design features. Um, I'm gonna jump into the cameras in just a second, but you can see that the build is really nice on here as well. Just a really solid package overall. Now the next thing I was surprised about was the overall performance with the MediaTek. Helio G88. You can get smooth and ultra graphics frame rate on this guy, uh, which is really crazy, right? So you get some really good settings for gaming on here. Um, I haven't tested like Fortnite or anything, but it does play one of my favorite games, which is PUBG um, and Call of Duty Mobile. So it does have the G he uh, the MediaTek, the Helio, the MediaTek uh, Helio G88 that's clocked in at two gigahertz, as well as uh, the Arm Molly G. Um, 52 MC2 as well. So like I said, the SOC on here is going to be extremely smooth. Um, it's going to be really good for gaming and stuff like that. So I had a really good time when it came to gaming on this guy. And uh, it's going to be really solid. Let me just get first blood, but obviously this is going to be a solid game. Really smooth graphics on this thing. I didn't expect that. That was crazy. Let me see if I could. I gotta get first blood real quick.
Oh, uh, there was two of them on against one. That sucked. But really smooth, solid graphics on here. Let me just see if I could get one kill on here. Oh, damn. That's crazy. This guy is, like, actually pretty good. Um, and one more time. Just one last time. But, you know, the solid gameplay on here as well when it comes to the overall graphics, like I said before. Let me see if I can get first blood. Killing spree for the red team. So I definitely was impressed with the gameplay and the, the overall speeds on this thing. It was actually pretty smooth. Um, it did have some really cool options on here. Like I said before, you could do split screen with three fingers as well, which is pretty cool. But the overall speed of this device was nice. It's just to add on to that. Now we actually do get a 48 megapixel camera on this thing and it's going to be pretty solid that it's going to record in 10 LED camera with the 48 megapixel. Um, so you're going to get that 48 megapixel on this guy. You're also going to be getting the, um, the 5 megapixel wide angle camera as well as the macro cam um, 2 megapixel camera and then a depth of field camera that's a 2 megapixel as well. So just gives you a quad camera setup on the back and all of the cameras are usable as well. We'll get into the photo samples in another video but I'll show you some quick samples just right now so you can see that. And also the video quality on here for the cameras. When you're doing video, uh, let me just show you what I mean. It's going to be really good for video because um, the video quality is actually going to be stable at 1080 frames per second. So they have this thing where it says you can do electronic image you know, stabilization. And, and, and basically what it's going to do is prevent the phone from bouncing too much, which I really do like the fact that they added that feature on here. Barometer is not going to be on board, but we do have the magnometer gyroscope is on here. Proximity light sensor, um, a proximity sensor um, as well. We also do have the fingerprint sensor as well as a uh, facial ID on here, which is pretty cool. So they give you a variety of options to choose from the, the fingerprint sensor, also the facial ID as well. So you could get that face ID on there, which is really snappy punch hole design, just a really solid device. But the last thing that I wanted to talk about, the seven things that I didn't expect so far after using this thing for about a week is the storage. I've been getting plenty of storage and right here it does say that we do get expandable storage so when we go into the phone and it says uh you have to fix the um the sd card you have to format it let me just see if i could find the option for my sim card here it is right here you can click this button right here and it actually says you can choose portable storage on the device so all you have to do is like format the SD card and then it takes like a second or something like that. And then after that five seconds of time, it says done and then you just click next. So you can go into your apps inside of settings. You can just see how smooth this phone moves with the 90 hertz display that I was talking about earlier. And you can go into apps and go into one of your larger apps and just test it to see if you can move it to the SD card. So I just want to try PUBG real quick. So let's just do PUBG. And it does say we, um, you can clear storage or you can clear cache. So maybe for some apps it does let you, some others it doesn't, but it does give you a, a large amount of storage. So you can basically, um, like right here, it's telling me that it's being used as internal storage. So it's not giving me the option to change it or anything like that. But the fact that we have 128 gigabytes of internal storage on this guy is also pretty sweet. So. I just like that feature that we do get a lot of storage on here. But these are my seven things that I didn't expect about the Moto, the not the Moto, the the G, the the G, the B15 from New. This is really solid device. Has a large battery. Has a nice display. Has really good performance. Battery as well as cameras, speed, and um, the storage on this guy. Design is really good too. But let me know what you guys think about the B15 in the comment section, and I'm gonna get right back with you. I'll check you guys later. Peace.